Hello guys, welcome to part 49 of Let's Play a Lunger. If you're wondering what I'm doing next to King Snow statue, basically what I want to do is jump off the bridge and into a whirlpool. Then you'll see a big one, and that's the one you gotta go to to get to an optional dungeon in the game, but I would highly suggest you go there at this point. The Fairy Pond. Yeah, a bit of a gay name, I know, but I don't care. Just gotta deal with these fucking lizards again, but thanks to the wands, you won't have too much problems. Remember, they bypass the shields. You want to go here to get a really good weapon. I believe me, weapons kick ass. Okay, we want to go with this teleporter. Now you see why you cannot go here until you get the Aqua Cape. Because you will be underwater for most of this dungeon. Now... Okay, you got an herb, that's good. God damn it. Well, let's see what's in this chest. Oh, a light vessel! Okay, that's good. My max HP is now 41. That's still pretty high. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, let's trigger the switch. A low rumble of falling rocks can be heard. Okay, I think we're done here, so let's go back up. There. Now that spike ball's out of the way. Watch up for falling rocks! Hopefully this won't take too long of a climb. I don't think it will. That seemed pretty short. There. Okay, I gotta go back. This time go to a different spot. Go over here. Uh, I don't think you go over here. No, you go over here. Yeah, you gotta walk through the wall. I'm trying to remember what I did when I was here before. Okay, this part can be a, a little tricky if you're not careful. I'm not gonna bother getting that chest, it's just an herb. It's useless, let's leave it alone. I think I need to jump over here to get to that platform. There we go. Make our way down. Through what seems to be some sort of maze, but it's not really much of a maze. You just gotta know where to jump at all times. I'm not gonna bother that herb. Waste of time. I only go for what's necessary. What's really rare. I think I'm gonna need to jump here. Keep making my way down a little bit. There. That's what I need. Get to the teleporter! To the teleporter! No! Come on! Do it now! Nothing else here, let's just drop down. Cheap shot. For that you have to die. Damn you. Damn lizards. Teleport! Okay, more of the same. Where will this take me? I see a chest, let's grab it. Hey, what the hell? Oh, it's just an herb. I no longer have the urge to herbal, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna stay here, wait for that bubble. And I can ride it. Mm -hmm. 
some of these bubbles you actually need. A little bit of leverage. Yeah, there we go. I think it's this teleporter you need. Let's go in there. Nope, there are no Gilded Falcons in this dungeon. Did I go the right way? Oh, wait, this is wrong. I was supposed to go in the other teleporter. Damn. Even that happens. You think you've gone the right way and you really didn't. Oh, great. Now the bubble already went, so now I gotta wait. God damn it! Okay, this time we do not go in the wrong teleporter. Okay, I was nowhere near the spikes. How did that hurt me? I call shenanigans. I call shenanigans. Ninigans. Okay, this looks familiar. Yeah, this is the right way. Let's go in here. This little special room. Ooh, naked women. I like this room already. I am at once amazed and proud that you have progressed this far, Releaser. I am Stenia, Queen of the Waters. Your actions have been shown to my heart by the rivers and oceans. Over the course of human history, there have been many gods. Not long ago, there was a race of giants called the Gazek. You have met one of them, Nairud. The Gazek were carved from stone by the hands of ancient humans. The seven Gazek were revered and feared by the ancients. Soon their prayers gave life to the Gazeks. They literally became what humans believed them to be. But the Gazek did not want to share their power of human prayer. They fought each other for it. They killed each other for the prize of human adulation. All but one of them perished. Only Nairu declined to fight his fellow gods. He watched with a heavy heart as his brothers slaughtered one another. But when the killing subsided, Nairu found that he was a god no more. The ancient humans had long since lost faith in the warring Gazek, and a god cannot exist without the faith of others. Soon, another god was born to the prayers of the people. That one was Melzes, but he was not the god of eternal peace for which the humans had prayed. He was even more flawed than the Gazeks had become, using fear to gain the faith of humans. But Melzes feared the wisdom of humans. He knew that he, they could strip him of power. Therefore, he began slaying whoever seemed to threaten his existence. Somehow, you have managed to escape his machinations to this point. What? Melzes has been watching us, Alundra. He has used my own water against me. Take this, Alundra. Malzas will soon destroy this place. Leave here, Alundra. We must hurry. The destruction comes. And with that, we get the Fiend Blade. We place the normal sword, and we got a sword with that much more power. In fact, let's equip it right now. It'll do more damage than the wands. Up, oh, point and overturn. There. There. Now I can take this teleporter just to get out. We must get out of here! Even though we have no time limit! An infinite time whatsoever! Now I should jump over here. This is a bit of a shortcut. There, that little teleporter will fix it up real fast. Sadly, I still get blocked by the shields. So once again, these lizards are an annoyance. Fuck you, lizards! You can crumble up in here for all I care. And with that, we can no longer enter the fairies' pond. But, not that we need to, anyway. 
Well, I'm pretty much done here. I'm gonna get out of the water real soon, but stay tuned for the next part when I head back to Anoa Village. Just to see what's going on. See ya.